Alrighty, so I'm already extended, and for people who are wondering when, probably this year, that you might come across a relationship that will give some sort of balance to you. So we did astrology. Um, so remember, I mix astrology and tarot to find the perfect month or date or year that you guys will be crossing upon relationship. So check it out in Extended if you resonate in YouTube or if you don't even resonate because it's a future prediction. Um, so we did plot the dates and the time and I will see you guys there. Enjoy your YouTube reading. OMW, on my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW. OMW, on my way to you. Good at what I do. I'm OMW. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. How is everybody? Welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. This is the Divine Feminine. Okay, but of course, it's finally here. This is your Divine Crystals. This is the Feminine, the Masculine, the Yin and the Yang, the Balance Crystals. Okay, so this is what I was unveiling together with its custom, um, you know, it's a custom kit, basically. So it is now available. So you just go in the description box and actually this one, um, I haven't put the seal. So every time I make it, I would, cause I would be the one to do it. I would seal it with my, um, with a candle wax so that it becomes more of like, I have my own magical juju with this. Okay, let's just keep it that way. Um, so I'm, I, it also comes with the um, same um, thing that I use for my reading, but I printed out a yin and yang. So, so you're getting what I have basically, but this one was made for me and I'm making it one for you. <laughs> okay, so this is that. So surprise, it's Friday and now you can avail of it in the description box below. It's your divine crystals. Okay. So, so it's a smoky and it's also a clear quartz. I look at it, when I created it, it's more like to create balance, to create harmony with oneself um, because we are, you know, we're both yin and yang. We're both feminine and masculine. So this crystal, um, I would put it, you know, in my sacred space to remind me to balance out my yin and my yang and then also to help me balancing those out. Smoky quartz is protective and of course, clear quartz is a master manifester. Okay, the last person that you were with is a master dater. Okay, <laughs> kidding. This one is a master manifester. So you can program, of course, the crystal on how you want to use it, but it comes from me, so it's ready. Go, 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 sago. It's ready to charge, and then we just need to charge your credit card. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, here we go. Um, uh, oh, and it's it. I, I won't be able to carry a lot considering that it is custom and you have to wait out because it is again custom. So I have to make it um, with your initial. I forgot about that. I don't have the pouch. That's why. So you will have your own monogram name. And the way that it works is that your first and last name or whatever name that you put, whatever lettered name and you put there, that's what we're going to use. So if you put there Circus Charlie, then that's CC, right? So for me, it's SB. So it's custom also the pouch that it comes with. I don't have it here because we're taking photos upstairs. So it's still there. So if your name is Lulu, Lulu Orange, not Lemon. <laughs> okay, so L-O, right? So that's that. Okay. If your name is Tiffany... Um, love, then your TL, okay, TL, okay, <laughs> so, so that's that, let me see here, so it's custom monogram also, so you can start to order, but please, okay, um, I'm telling you, it might take a while because it is custom for you, I'll make it myself, all right, so let's see here, so surprise, okay, I don't have that energy to the max, I went to the gym for the very first time in two centuries, <laughs> Law is not justice. Oh, really? Ru okay, law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. Okay, so we might probably feel that you are mistreated. If there's mistreated, is there Mr. Treated? Okay, because why it's only miss. <laughs> um, so probably you are trying to do everything in the connection. You're trying to make it work. Um, and you're really like, okay, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. 
and then you felt taken advantage with the law. You know, we, I mean, no, with, probably with the law. I mean, you're just law-abiding citizen, probably. Um, but if it gets with relationship, you're just doing everything for the relationship, and it still didn't work. Um, there are things that you have to understand that, you know, we get what we deserve, basically. And of course, right, as much as we would like to think that, you know, it's like, but I've always been good, and why do I deserve this? But because there's always a bigger picture. What if you ascend, and you're like a divine diva up there, you know? We don't know, right? So that's the only thing that we have to accept, that there is always something out there that we are not aware of, the bigger picture. All right, so let's see what's the Lord Ganesh. Okay, here we go. Man, it's been a week, huh? It's been a week. How are you guys? How are you guys? Mm. You got energetic movement. Like what I said, I don't have the energy, but Lord Ganesha is giving us energetic movements. You know, they say like dance like nobody is watching. For me, I dance like someone is paying. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, bands to make her dance. That's what they say, right? We make it rain. So I don't dance like nobody's watching. I definitely perform. Make sure that, you know, performance level. Push na, of course, right? This is it. It's not, you know, life, they say life is not a rehearsal. You only get one, uh, you know, one stage act, something like that. So energetic movement, I feel like if you're going to give something, make it to the max. Full na, push pa more, right? So which only means that in anything that we invest in, okay, because there's energy in it. And then, you know, in, if you want to make things move, if you want to make things happen, you got to put it all, okay. Energetic movement, of course, it means that you are just a free spirit dancing in the street. I like that song, dancing in the street. And this is about celebration of life. So maybe there is a reason for you to start dancing or maybe there's no reason for you to start dancing, but just dance, just like what Lady Gaga says. Just dance. Okay. So I know you guys like what I said there. Dance like someone is paying. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Champagne room sale. <laughs> okay, yes. I've been to the champagne room. Mm -hmm. And I was in Florida. Younger years. Okay. <laughs> My friends took me. Okay, here we go. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. How. I'm very grounded today. Because I had shake and I cannot lift, you know, like, uh. <laughs> here we go. You got a page of pentacles. So the divine feminine right now is saying that, um, you know, you want to invest. Okay. So investment comes in, um, you know, if it's a chart and we would have to look at it. Um, what we want in business is if you have, a, you know, a strong Jupiter, you know, because you want to be safe. At the end of the day, you know, the stroke of good luck. So investment wise, good Jupiter can be a good for investment but of course the karaka for you know for the 10th house is this is uh sun right sun 10th house is good mars is exalted in capricorn so those we have to look um but if it's business also seventh house okay where's the seventh house lord right but initial stage of investing is fifth house so this is where we um you know we take a chance you know this is uh, i forgot what it's called we gamble in the fifth in the fifth house um, so um, birth of something that you, you know, that makes you happy is fifth house. So normally if you can, you know, can make money out of something that makes you happy, you're winning, right? You're winning. Um, so the Lord of the fifth, the Lord of the seventh, the Lord of the 10th, you know, those things we have to look at or if there's any planet sitting there. Um, now for others, cause that's really business. Um, this is not looking like you just want money. I feel like you want something that grows um, towards the future. Um, so you're thinking about maybe I should learn a new skill, go back to school, or you're practicing a, a certain skill that you're honing it, you're mastering it. So it can be, this is going back to school to learn a specific skill, and then you're going to make bank. So you're investing in yourself. So that's the divine feminine right now. Okay. Remember, I do um, sidereal Vedic astrology for every time I talk about planets and houses. Yes. Okay. I don't do Western, but I do date Western. Wink. <laughs> I go... United Nations, if it's dating, United Nations. <laughs> Here we go, two of cups, hello. So you probably want to say that you're sorry, you want to connect with your soulmates, that's amazing. You're trying to be the bigger person. If you're gonna say, it's like, listen, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, I love you, but the page, remember, I don't know if you're the page in the connection, which means like, you keep saying sorry and you keep doing the same thing. Now that's a little bit challenging, right? 
Having the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, you met the one. This is how you feel. You want to invest. You want to push. You want to make it work. Um, the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, um, it feels like, you know, one in a million. You felt like, well, you know what? I never thought like I will meet someone. Now I want to engage and I want to talk to them. So there's definitely attraction here from Soul Within. Love it. Very nice to end our week. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords. So you are already trying to be the bigger person while the other person is trying to be detached, cold, and insensitive, Four of Swords. So you got dismissed. You went in all ham, okay? like a breakfast burrito ham. Okay? But with the Two of Cups here, it's like you said your piece. You expressed your feelings. You were bold enough to do that. But what you got was a questionable answer. So I'm not sure what is a questionable answer for you. It can be like, well, let me think about it. I'm not sure how I feel. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm you know, like, I just need to soak this in. Because the Four of Swords is here. So someone open up, okay? Someone open up. Here we go. Let's see. You get the Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. You're very hopeful, high expectation. You want to go out. You want to see this person. You're very excited and enthusiastic. The Three of Wands can be a foreign person or far from you. And it feels like you just want to see them. But you cannot make any move because, again, they isolated themselves. So the only thing that you're doing right now is the Three of Wands. Um, waiting and waiting and waiting. Now, with the Knight of Wands, you're enthusiastic. You have so much energy. You feel the connection, but you can't go, you know, this is as far as you can go. Meaning the last text message was it, okay? Or the last call. Mm -hmm. There we go. You got a Two of Pentacles, they're not sure, uncertain, Two of Swords, definitely crossroads, crossroads in their life. The person cannot invest right now because on their end, they don't want to be emotionally, not emotionally available or they're not emotionally available and they cannot just switch themselves to like, oh, we like each other, now we're just going to explore this. So I feel like this person takes time and takes process, but they're going to be like this to you, on limbo. Not a no, not a yes, but you're going to get a maybe. Maybe this time love won't end. <laughs> Here we go. Now, the more that this person resists, the more that you find... Well, they're not resisting. It feels like the uncertainty draws, draws, drawn, drawns you. Or you know what? Pulls you. <laughs> drones you. What is drones you? <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> You're being drawn more to the person. The more that it is like rocky, you know. You like to date Sylvester Stallone, basically. Rocky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So the more that there is fight and resistance, you feel like, oh my God, like this is the person, Six of Cups. So again, um, the it's not resisting. It's more of like the in unavailability of the person, the more you want. You know, like how a restaurant is, how a salon is, a resort. When it's not available, people want to get in. And there's so many other things that is available, no one wants to get in there. Okay, So that's that. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles, you can't connect. There is no contact, you know, with the Five of Pentacles, no communication. You got the Queen of Pentacles and the World card. Well, I feel like they're about to break a big news. This is an ending of a cycle with the World card. Queen of Coins with the Queen of Swords. I feel like they're ready to say their piece in regards to settling after no contact for like forever. Remember, Saturn is the slowest planet. So wherever Saturn is, it takes time for that house, for that karma to evolve. And depending also how strong, how weak, or what dignity, you know, um, Saturn is placed in a chart, um, that's why it takes a while. So let's just say, you know, um, you know, Saturn is in the fifth, and fifth is like love, right? This is where you fall in love. So maybe this person takes a while to fall in love, and it's not instant. Jupiter in the fifth, probably you're just in love, you know, with happiness, with joy. You're just happy, you know, because Jupiter is the Caracas for the fifth, you know. And, you, you know, for you, it's like babies everywhere, you know. Um, but then this person is Saturn. What if it's Saturn is in the fourth? Then it takes time for them to settle, you know, or to get a home or think like, I want to have a home with you. Maybe I don't even want that, you know, like it's because it takes a while with this person. Um, if Saturn is in Capricorn and then they want to establish first their career, then that's going to be a purpose first for them. And that's, you know, Saturn's Mula Tricona. Saturn is in Capricorn right now, going in retrograde. So the person is thinking about, well, I need to settle my job first. I need to have the funds. I can't just commit 
get to you. And then, you know, Jupiter is retrograde in, uh, this is air sign, I know it's Libra, but Jupiter is in Aquarius. So they're seeing themselves right now out of a difficult stage with their career and ready to say, you know what, maybe, okay? But we will see what this is. Because the Five of Pentacles, you haven't been in touch with this person. Chances are during this Mercury retrograde, there is this whole reconnecting that will happen because it is unresolved karma. All right, so I'm gonna continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below for the extended. Get your Divine Crystals now because it will take time. Because You gotta be on the wait list. You gotta wait it out because I will have to do my own, you know, magical juju for you, okay? So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'm excited to give you guys your Divine Crystals pretty soon. Bye.